So this is a view of the Starliner spacecraft approaching the International Space Station, a little bit less than five kilometers away from the International Space Station. That's why it's showing as a little more than a star against the uh, backdrop of Earth. Starliner flying below and behind the International Space Station as it flies its very precise flight path up to the orbiting laboratory. And again, as it makes its way to the space station, Starliner will be completing some demonstrations. These allow the spacecraft to meet its flight test objectives for Orbital Flight Test 2. The first, Starliner completed a checkout of its navigation and orientation control systems. Once in orbit, flight control teams checked the star tracker and it looked with Vesta's narrow field cameras to determine that the spacecraft is looking at the correct stars. Starliner also tests of critical on-orbit capabilities as Demo 2. Uh, these are thruster firing and abort sequences, so when the systems perform as expected, it proves they can be used if needed. The third demo is for ground controllers to test the Vesta navigation systems that will guide Starliner toward the International Space Station's docking adapter. And the fourth demo is for astronauts on the space station to remotely turn on and off the docking lights, proving that the crew can command the spacecraft if needed. And getting uh, ever clearer views of Starliner as it approaches. We see the uh, conical shape of Starliner as it approaches. Starliner is currently 609 meters away from the International Space Station, moving at a relative speed of about a third of a meter per second. Starliner maneuvering inside the approach ellipsoid, going through its uh, carefully choreographed, carefully planned maneuvers, getting a little bit of sunlight now, coming up, uh, reflecting, giving that uh, unique color to the Starliner spacecraft as it moves in. It's looking good, Steve, that, uh, that sunrise coming up as the station and uh, Starliner, as you mentioned, which is now less than three, uh, 600 meters away, uh, are over the western uh, border of Australia. Uh, they're coming up in an orbital sunrise as they cross over into the uh, Pacific Ocean. Rendezvous reports good burn. That went just as it was supposed to. Produced great video, too. <laughs> that was spectacular. Yeah, we got to see the uh, the RCS thrusters uh, that enable that burn. Uh, we got to see them firing uh, just in the right amount of sun and the right amount of exposure of the cameras themselves to give us those spectacular views. Okay, and uh, Houston, we have CST-100 in sight. Copy, tally-ho. Tally-ho from the ISS crew. ISS astronauts can see Starliner directly. We are getting great images from the camera, of course. Yeah, these look great, Steve. The uh, International Space Station and Starliner are about to cross that Terminator line. We're seeing... Uh, uh, some of the clouds there in the background as we pass over the uh, Tasman Sea. We're just south of Tasmania. Uh, we're about to cross over the southern Pacific Ocean. Starliner now inside 500 meters to the International Space Station. 478 to be precise. 478 meters. At a speed relative to the space station of 0.18 meters per second. And we have word from Rendezvous that Starliner is executing Demo 6. It is retreating from the International Space Station just as it's supposed to. Starliner is retreating. Expect Starliner to hold at 200 meters. This uh, retreat is going to take, uh, take Starliner just to the edge of the keep-out sphere, which is that imaginary uh, boundary about uh, 200 meters from the space station. We're seeing some of the imagery coming from those cameras aboard the uh, Starliner spacecraft that is looking right at the forward port of the uh, International Space Station. It's looking at the uh, forward port of the Harmony module. And you can also see the outlines of the GEM, the Japanese experiment module called Kibo, the Columbus 
European laboratory, the truss itself, the crew vehicle. So lots, lots to see in that picture as the uh, Starliner moves in towards the International Space Station. Getting this imagery coming in of Starliner approaching the International Space Station at a distance of 47 and a half meters. And the imagery coming in clear enough to show the entry cover that has uh, opened over the nose of Starliner that, uh, that opened up yesterday, a little bit uh, more than an hour after liftoff. In fact, some of, of course, the uh, clearest images so far of Starliner getting to, uh, getting to see some of the uh, livery on the uh, Boeing spacecraft and a really good look at the uh, arrangement of the docking lights. We've been watching watching this for a little while now as Starliner emerged from the darkness of space uh, as a little more appearing to the crew and the cameras as a little more than a very bright light uh, closing now getting very close to the forward port of the space station and uh, really able to show off a lot of the details of the spacecraft as it uh, makes this orbital flight test too and as it closes in for the first uh, rendezvous and, and uh, docking flight path to the space station. Also in this view able to see some of the uh, exhaust plumes from the small reaction control system thrusters on Starliner as they fire periodically. Just maintenance. Uh, station Houston Space Ground 2 for Starliner status. Joe Farmer, I want to let you know that um, we are not going to make uh, the docking window for this orbit. We expect to have a final approach initiation at 2350. So that means that um, we're going to be after what was the evening DPC, so we are going to abort the evening DPC. Um, but if you have anything to tell us, let us know. Okay, copy that. No uh, evening DPC, and I will plan uh, 2350 Zulu. And that's a good read. Once we get to the 10-meter hold point, we will refine that time just a little bit. We'll let you know. Okay, copy all. Rendezvous officer reports that uh, Starliner is in the 10-meter rendezvous box. Station Houston on two. Starliner is at the 10-meter hold. Perform step seven in 1.102. One and we're working on a finalized uh, FAI, as mentioned. And we are seeing really good video from the EHDC. Okay, station copies. We uh, see the same 10 meter hold. Uh, vehicle mode is hold step seven. Uh, we have uh, brought up the 10 meter hold overlay and understand uh, updated um, time for the uh, initiation of uh, docking um, is forthcoming. Good read. Station Houston Space Ground 2 for docking status. Rover Station. Farmer, I wanted to let you know that um, a few of the NDS components did not go to the uh, an intended config. Therefore, we need to retract the docking ring to reset the system. We're expecting that to take about 30 minutes. We will come back to you with a new um, FAI time. Okay, copy that. 30 minutes to retract uh, the ring and then uh, re-extend it. Uh, and just uh, confirm we're happy holding at 10 meters uh, while we do all the troubleshooting. Copy. Thanks. All right, the teams here are uh, talking through. Uh, there is an opportunity to uh, execute the uh, final approach initiation much earlier than anticipated to beat a seven minute handover or a, a handover in seven minutes. Uh, we can expect the, the teams, they're talking about it now, to go ahead and execute that maneuver. And they just did. Final approach initiation has been commenced. Houston on two, Starliner final approach has begun. Perform steps eight and nine in one decimal one zero two. Copy, copy. We see 
approach the docking port for the vehicle mode, steps eight and nine in work. Starliner inside 10 meters. And on the move, 0 0.04 meters per second. It'll take four minutes to close this distance of what is now less than nine meters to the International Space Station's forward port. Imagery we're seeing coming from the one of the external cameras on the ISS just shifted the views. Now watching uh, Starliner make its uh, make its final approach. Docking ring extended. Seven meters away from the forward port. Estimated contact a little bit more than two minutes, crossing two minutes to contact right now. Starliner continuing to close in on the International Space Station at a distance of 5.3 meters, closing in at 0 0.05 meters per second, alternating views between the International Space Station and the Starliner sensors themselves as they close in on the forward port of the Harmony module. Starliner looking to connect to the International Docking Adapter there at the uh, forward end of Harmony. Docking ring extended, you can see some of the separation coming in with that inner ring. Those three pedals will inside four meters. One minute to contact. Inside three meters. Quiet in the control room. Starliner continuing to close in. Two meters, Starliner coming two meters to the International Space Station. One meter to docking, less than 20 seconds. Press to dock. Contact, capture. Soft capture confirmed. Copy, station showing good soft capture. Boeing Starliner spacecraft completes its historic first docking to the International Space Station, opening a new avenue of access for crews to the orbiting laboratory. That docking time comes at 7.28 p.m. Central Time. The International Space Station was 271 statute miles over the South Indian Ocean with the Starliner attached to its forward port. MPO confirms hard docking complete. Ed Van Sice has moved Starliner to dock mode. Another first. 
That's uh, applause you hear. Houston, space to ground two for Starliner. No station. Hard made is complete. ISS thrusters are enabled, and we can welcome Starliner to ISS. That's great news. Thank you to Rob. Uh, thank you, Rob. Thank you to the entire ops team for some great work tonight. To the joint Boeing and NASA team, the crew of Expedition 67 would like to offer our congratulations on this momentous occasion. Today marks a great milestone towards providing additional commercial access to low Earth orbit, sustaining the ISS, and enabling NASA's goal of returning humans to the moon and eventually to Mars. Great accomplishments in human spaceflight are long remembered by history. Today will be no different. So the Starliner, its commander, Rosie the Rocketeer, and all the men and women who poured their hearts and souls into this vehicle and this mission, welcome to the International Space Station. Great words, Farmer. Thank you so much for all your great work today. Thank you guys as well. Have a good night. And uh, Station Starliner Control Center here. Uh, thank you for the great words. We are happy to be there and looking forward to a great mission. And likewise, and Starliner is uh, looking beautiful on the front of Station. We love it too.